just so you know, okay? So I'm gonna start shooting on you. <laughs> uh oh, somebody's somebody's hiding. Somebody's hiding from the YouTube audience here. <laughs> Why are you hiding? <laughs> oh, high five to you too. <laughs> Killing me? No, no violence. Only in the movie that we're gonna see today, Harry Potter. We're gonna go see the last Harry Potter movie. And why? Well, why not? Yes, I'm wearing my Shea Carl shirt. I was gonna show you that in the last video because I was wearing that for the for the uh, parade and all that, but uh, I never got a chance to do that. So, yes, I'm a big Shea Carl fan. I got one of his shirts. But only because I have a big, huge fan of what he does, and I wish one day to be successful just like him. But and even if I'm not successful just like him, just to be able to have somebody for inspiration, just like the fam Damley and all that too. So anyway, so we're gonna go see Harry Potter, the last one. And uh, I heard this is gonna be the probably one of the best ones of them all. But I don't know. I've seen them all. Tyrell's seen them all. So, uh, up to this point, anyway. The uh, we're not driving. The library actually has a promotion where they're gonna take a bus or whatever, and, and uh, we paid seven dollars a piece, and got our tickets paid for, and pretty much everything paid for, including food and everything, or all pop and popcorn at least. That's why I told Tyrell here he should have ate before he came over. It's not like we're gonna be getting burgers or anything like this. <laughs> What do you eat? Uh, candy. Can't. Can't eat. That's for breakfast? Yeah. That's way too early. Way too early to eat candy for breakfast. Anyway, so we're going to go see the Harry Potter movie. As you can see, there's people already waiting. I I saw the list of how many people are going to be here today. and There's going to be a lot of people. They might have to take two buses. So, but we'll sit together. <laughs> just so he doesn't get lost because you know he I don't know what he'd do without his great uncle here you know? anyway so we're going to do that and uh, it should be a lot of fun so we'll give you guys our thoughts after the movie's over so it should be exciting
Hey everybody. What's up? Frankie Slauson here. And welcome to, well, another great Frankie Slauson Show video. And today is kind of a kind of a special day, more or less. And uh, as we continue uh, uh, with uh, talking about the movie that I wanted to see today, uh, it's a movie that I'm sure a lot of people, whether you're a real fan or, or you're not a real fan, you probably want to you probably wanted to see this movie anyway. And I'm talking about the final Harry Potter movie. I call it and most people call it Harry Potter eight, but the real title for it is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two, which would be for continuing in year seven. Now, I'm gonna admit something. I never once ever read the books for Harry Potter. Not saying you shouldn't go read the books. It's, you you should go read the books. You probably they probably uh, the books are probably more more detailed than the movies are. But I'm more of a movie person. And most of the people who well most of my fan base anyway, the people that watch my videos are more movie people than they are book people. Uh, for, to me, it's always been a way that I've always been. I've always been a, a, more of a, a movie person because to me, the the film tells more. You know, I think anyway tells more, explains more than what the a book would tell you. Because a movie has pictures and colors and and just imagination and all that stuff. No matter what movie it could be about. A book can have that too. But I guess it just depends on what t the book is about. And to me, after seeing the movie and all that stuff, I can picture more images in my head. I can imagine more stuff in my head of what the movie's telling me or showing me rather than what a book would tell me. But then again, I, you know, I'm probably wrong. I mean, the, I'm sure the, the Harry Potter books, you know, are, are uh, something that a lot of people, you know, would rather read the books and watch the movies or vice versa. But anyway, I was going to just talk about the last film, but I want to, because I've never really done anything on Harry Potter as far as I can remember, uh, uh, in any video that I've ever done, I want to talk about the entire series as a whole now because I do own the first six. The first six I own, and, and this is where I got it. was a good deal that I got for ten dollars a piece at Walmart. I got uh, the double features of Harry Potter, uh, the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter, the Chamber of Secrets. So that'd be year one, year two, or year one, year two. I got. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which is year three, and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which is year four, also for ten dollars. And the final, of course, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which is year five, and Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, which is year six. Now, I do not own part seven yet. I decided I've seen part seven, or the, the part one of the Deathly Hallows, but I, I and part two, obviously, today. Um, but uh, I'm going to wait until the last one comes out on DVD, and maybe, just maybe, eventually, it'll come out in a double pack like this. Maybe not like this, you know, where they're all together, you know, on two discs, but like maybe two cases together or something, which is what I'm thinking what they'll probably do. Or they'll just release the whole series, like they've done with the other ones, all together one big pack. I'm sure eventually that'll happen. And I don't think it'll come out, because it's summertime now, it's the middle of just summer, it's July 16th today, so uh, I'm guessing this probably won't be out till like Thanksgiving or Christmas, and hopefully by that time I I will find employment if not sooner. I'm I'm, I'm looking, I'm trying, I'm still looking, trying to find something. Uh, hopefully a possibility at Walmart is a possibility, or a possibility at an Elite Video and Sound, which is a video store. Uh, that won't pay that much, but it would still put money in my pocket. Uh, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Today we're talking about Harry Potter, and now you're probably wondering. You're probably wondering, well, Frankie, if you're broke and don't have hardly any money, how are you fortunate enough to go see Harry Potter? Doesn't it cost money to go see that movie? Well, yes, it did. It cost me seven dollars to go see that movie. But if you saw the little scene with my nephew, my step nephew Tyrell, and and us on the bus and whatnot, this was a promotion to our local library. And normally I don't participate in stuff like this, but because I really wanted to go see Harry Potter, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to wait until next week when it was fair week, 
I had to go all the way to Thief River, which is 40 miles from here, from where I live right now at my parents' place. It's closer to go to <coughs> Roseau, which is only 20 miles, uh, and it's cheaper to go that route than to go all the way to Thief River and pay and spend more. For $7, you get a movie ticket. Oh, no, it pays for your bus ride. It paid for your movie ticket, and then the pop and popcorn and a, and, and a candy of your choice. Now this is mostly just for little kids, but I I, I asked if there was an age limit, and they said no. It's free for anybody, anybody that wants to go, anybody that really likes the movies or likes the books or just like the whole series completely ever since it started. So I did it through the promotion, to uh, a little promotion that the library has. I don't know if they do that in you guys' areas or not, uh, but it's just something that they thought of because they knew that everybody there's a lot of people who really liked the, the Harry Potter series and. Thought it was pretty cool and thought it pretty amazing and uh, the theater in Roseau, so I should have got I should have brought my camera in when I filmed there or I should have filmed a little bit of there. It's actually pretty nice. It's not as nice as the one in Thief River or the one in Grand Forks, but uh, or East Grand Forks I should say. But you know it it does pretty good. I mean I, I'm I'm pretty satisfied. This was it's only a single uh, this was a double uh, sided theater or whatever. This is just one one theater with one viewing room and. But the theater was kind of big because it was, you know, because it's just one room, and it's not a double, you know, sided theater or whatever. But uh, anyway, so the the whole, so this was all just to uh, to fund it through the, you know, through uh, the library, the local library. So it, was, it worked out pretty well. My nephew and I were pretty happy we got to participate. And uh, how I started liking Harry Potter in the first place, it wasn't. You know, when Harry Potter first came out, I wasn't really a big fan. And I wasn't really, I mean, I, I watched the first one, and, and I watched maybe the first three, but I never really took it seriously at the time, you know, because I knew that, you know, they're still coming out, there's more coming out. I wanted to personally just wait until I knew that the series was coming to an end uh, to actually finally get involved with starting to like the, the series. I know that's kind of weird how that can happen with somebody. Normally... You either like something or you don't right away, but for me, it, it just took a little while to understand the whole realm of Harry Potter. Like I said, I never read the books or anything like that. I just just became a fan of the films. So when I found out, and this happened earlier this summer, um, even though yes, I I am poor and broke and whatever and have no job still, barely getting by with little money that I have, but. This, this this set came pretty cheap, you know, ten dollars a piece for two movies, so the first six were like that. I'm sure the first, the whole collection would have been like that if they all would have been out, but uh, yeah, I just yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, uh, and they still have most at most WalMarts anyway, with part seven, uh, part one of Deathly Hallows or whatever. Uh, but uh, no, I I I just said you know what, I'm gonna invest in Harry Potter. You know, whether I understand it or I don't, I'm a movie guy. You know, and I'm trying to, even though I'm not working right now, I'm still trying to still be a movie guy. Because I want this to possibly be a career for me if I can find something that would fit my, my realm as far as get me a job in some type of entertainment area or whatever. Uh, even if it's just working in a, 